39 Freedom Fighters, I want to say hello to you. We welcome you here today. I tell you, you know, being here today has caused me to think back a little bit. Think back to uh, maybe a couple of centuries ago when uh, we, we, we had these founding fathers, these patriots. Do you think about one specific account where, against all odds, you had a young man who was born into poverty? who had to go to work to support his mother, who was widowed, and support his brother. And at the young age of 25, he found himself standing next to George Washington outside of Boston. The British had been holed up for a little while, and they knew they needed one other step, one other element to get the Brits out. And so looking to this young man, Henry Knox, he said, we need some artillery. Who is willing to stand up? And Henry Knox said, I'll do it. So he took his band of friends, and they traveled hundreds of miles to get the cannons that were necessary. Going to Fort Ticonderoga, they got the cannons. And it took them almost eight weeks to get back to George Washington. And they traversed every uh, amount of every kind of country you could imagine. Forests, swamps, frozen rivers, snow drifts, anything you could imagine, all elements against them. And of course, we know the rest of the story. It was that pivotal point in our great birthing in our history. And it was then, when they had the artillery, the, the, the country began to be birthed as we moved forward and we had a victory there in Boston. Why? Why did Henry Knox step up? Because he believed. He believed along with the other Sons of Liberty that there was a cause, there was an idea that was going to be called this great and glorious cause called America. He seized the moment, and I'm here to tell you today, this is our moment. It is time for us to seize this moment. So I'm here to tell you, let's seize it and let's stand together. So when the left wants to attack the conservatives and the Tea Party, we're going to stand together. When they say that you can't cut any more spending, that it's too close to the bone, or maybe it's extreme, we're going to stand together. When they say free markets don't work, capitalism is false, and government's the solution, we are going to stand together. So today we have a decision to make. The decision is clear. We're at a point. We can either build upon our greatness as a nation, or we can fade off into history. And I'm here with you today because we are going to build upon our greatness, we are going to seize the moment, we are going to stand together, and we are going to do it on behalf of the next generation. Thank you, and God bless you.